such a shame. But I applaud you, Megatron. You certainly made a grand exit. Ah, Soundwave. Cue the audiovisual. I wish to address the troops. The loss of Megatron, leader of the great Decepticon uprising, is certainly a blow to our cause. Yet we mustn't despair over his tragic demise, but instead embrace his ultimate sacrifice and build upon the foundation he laid with an even mightier hand. With all due respect, Commander Star... Lord Starscream. Yes, yes. What is it? If we fail to conquer Earth under Lord Megatron's command, what hope do we have now while the Autobots still defend it? <sighs> Allow me to be crystal clear. I studied for millennia under our former master. Thus I am equipped to lead you. I, Megatron's true heir, Lord Starscream, Emperor of Destruction! What? <sighs> what use are troops who can't rise to the task of inflicting unspeakable destruction in my name? But wait. Legend tells of one capable warrior. One who exists here, upon this very planet. One who can be student to my master. Optimus, why so glum? This planet, all planets, are finally free from Megatron's tyranny. I do not disagree, Ratchet. It's just a small part of me hoped to change Megatron's mind, not extinguish his spark. Optimus, his vileness was not slain by your hand, but by his own twisted arrogance. Mm. I'm sorry. I know the two of you had quite a history. But the Megatron whom I once fought beside perished eons ago. The day he chose to become a Decepticon. The Decepticons may be in disarray, but they aren't without leadership. And while Starscream is no Megatron, he is far from predictable. Decepticons, we're under attack! It's no attack, Ratchet. <coughs> It's my volcano. <coughs> Was. Hold still, bulkhead. Jupiter needs its red spot. Whoopsie. What in the all spark is going on in here? Our projects are due tomorrow. Maybe it needs one of these doohickeys. You're a motorcycle, RC. Shouldn't you know how to build a motorcycle engine? You're a human, Jack. Can you build me a small intestine? Whoa. You can't work on these projects in here. You're making a mess. But the science fair is a big part of our grade. Yeah, if Bulkhead doesn't help me finish this model of our solar system. Oh? And what does Bulkhead know of your solar system? Or Bumblebee of your volcanoes? Or... RC of our motorcycles? Precisely. We're not Earthlings. And they're not scientists. But the Autobots are their guardians, Ratchet. Would it hurt to learn more of Earth by helping our young friends with their schoolwork? Well, maybe our young friends should try learning more of Cybertron. During the Great War, so much energon was hidden on this forsaken rock. 
that our departed master sent some of Cybertron's greatest to guard it. True warriors, now lying in stasis, waiting to be reawakened. <laughs> Such folly that, late in life, Megatron searched distant space for warriors, rather than here beneath his feet. What do you mean you can't pinpoint his signal? I know we are close. Boost the power to your sensors. Yes. There. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really, Bumblebee? Then how do you make warrior class? But I've seen you in action. You're awesome. I second your opinion, Raph. But Autobot life cycles are much longer than those of humans. And though it may be hard to believe, our young scout still has much to experience. Exposed Energon. And it's on the move. And since we ain't moving it, guess who must be? Decepticons. Without Megatron? Unfortunately, Megatron's legacy will live on as others rise to take his place. Autobots, you have projects to complete. Ratchet, I may require aid. Science fair is a big part of their grade. Perhaps I'm better suited to remain behind and advise. Very well. Bumblebee, let us see about this Energon in transit. Excellent sound wave. The cube. The energon infusion. It's working. Bumblebee, it does not. Hold your position and await my command. Awaken, warrior. Rise and serve your new master! Skyquake serves only one master. Excellent. Your loyalty and devotion will set a fine example for the troops. No need to be timid, Skyquake. You may bow. You fail to grasp my meaning. I am here on a mission assigned to me by my one master, Megatron. Yes, him. Sadly, Megatron is no longer with us. Impossible. Why is this so difficult for everyone to accept? Skyquake, I located you. I awakened you. Thus, I, Lord Starscream, am now your master. It has been a while, Skyquake. Optimus Prime, I haven't seen you since the Battle of Technar. Megatron ordered me to annihilate you. That was a long time ago. That may be, Prime, but my orders still stand. Is this ancient war still worth fighting? When so many comrades have been lost, and worlds destroyed? If you want to be a true leader, Starscream, then stray from Megatron's path and lead the Decepticons toward peace. I would be willing to consider a truce. If you would be willing to bow before me, Optimus Prime. Again? Bow to this! <gasps> oh. Oh. Skyquake, this is a new era on another world. Side with the Autobots and help me end this conflict forever. I will never side with a Prime! <laughs> Why 
What need have I for peace when I have Skyquake? With some discipline, he will learn to respect his new master. And once it becomes known that Skyquake destroyed Optimus Prime under my command, all Decepticons will gratefully bow to me. We shall need visual documentation of Optimus Prime's demise for the historical record. Skyquake has not yet acquired a vehicle mode. Fall back. Let's see, where is it? Um, what is it? You find out. But, Ratchet, shouldn't I be doing the work? Yep, yep, yep. Don't touch, just watch and learn. So, we're just gonna go help Jack and Miko finish there. Without my supervision? You want them to be right, don't you? Then watch a master at work. Control freak. We've lost sight of them. Soundwave, why aren't you tracking them? What? What is it? A second Decepticon life signal? But Skyquake is the only sleeper buried in this area. The sight of our destroyed space bridge. You're not telling me that life signal belongs to Megatron. But, but, but he was microns from the detonation point. Nothing could have survived that blast. Your sensors must be faulty. Ignore the contact. Delete the coordinates. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, of course, this uh, must be investigated. If Lord Megatron is up there, I shall bring him home. Remain here and monitor the outcome. When Skyquake snuffs Prime Spark, I must bear witness. <laughs> Negative, Tango 6 Alpha. This is Special Agent William Fowler intercepting. Strike your report from the record and provide origin coordinates. I'll take it from here. It will be a shame to crush you, Bug, but it is my duty. Excellent strategy, Bumblebee. Skyquake, stay down. Fowler? Agent Fowler, fall back. Achieved. <laughs> 
plans for a classified military aircraft will not be tolerated on my watch. I still got it. No one could have survived this. As I suspected, faulty sensors. The last thing I need now are rumors that Megatron is still... I have found Lord Megatron, and he is unwell. We must transport him to sickbay immediately. chosen to stray from his master's path. We might not be burying him today. Bumble Bay, putting yourself at risk was perhaps not the wisest of strategies, but you performed admirably. Well, how are my, uh, our projects received? Well... Ms. Nakadai, what planet would that be? Um, Cybertron? It's large, Mr. Darby, but is it operational? <laughs> <laughs> I hesitate to ask, Mr. Esquivel, but, uh, is it active? Well, on our planet, you would have been awarded the highest honors. Absolutely no gratitude if I help them. 
Indeed, Bumblebee. Our human friends would have been wise to stray from Ratchet's path. The troops will be pleased to hear of our success in rushing Lord Megatron into stasis. Let us hope that our master pulls through. No, we're not there yet, but it should be just past this ridge, Bumblebee. I don't get it. These readings are off the meter. I told you, Doc, we're fine. The only way to be certain you're fine, Bulkhead, is to endure standard defrosting procedure. You know prolonged exposure to sub-zero conditions can cause permanent system damage. Ratchet. Have you learned anything more about our Arctic find? Not yet. The pod can't be opened while it's frozen solid. search for any clue which might explain the origin of our arctic find only until your sensors sound remember once your core temperature drops into the blue zone system failures aren't likely they are imminent you miss us doc bot oh shouldn't they be in school on saturday you have the whole weekend off to spend with you I wasn't expecting to carpool. What gives, RC? Tag team, Jack. It's my turn for exploration duty. Oh, too bad. It's a beautiful day for a ride. Would hate for you to feel guilty for leaving me indoors. Arctic exploration duty. Indoors where it's warm. The Arctic? I've always wanted to see snow. I would invite you to join, Raphael. But the conditions are much too extreme. Even for we Autobots. I understand. But I will bring you back a snowball. That would be awesome. Transport complete. By the all spark. So, what do you guys think we should do today? Video game tournament. Yeah. The last one standing wins. Bulkhead, Bumblebee, here, now. <gasps> Prepare to be destroyed. Uh, yeah, not really my thing, Miko. Oh, scared of losing to a girl? <sighs> Bring it. No mercy. Hey, Raph, you want to take on Miko for me? Nah, I have stuff to do. Hoo yeah! You can't boss us around just because the boss is out. I need some heavy lifting. The ground bridge is down. Optimus and RC made it through just fine. It's bringing them back that concerns me. Now remove those panels. Chop, chop.
temperature sub-zero and dropping. <sighs> Gotta get back to base. Hello? from <laughs> the Autobots never said anything about pets you want to play fetch Ugh. <laughs> good boy go get it no don't eat that you're gonna choke or not You want some? In your face! Uh, what, what the? Great hey, power failure. Oh, it wiped out our game. You, but uh, I was winning. Bummer. Oh, we most definitely have a problem. But what could have caused this? Or that? Might be the main grid. Hopefully it isn't a substation malfunction. Hey guys, look what I found. We're busy! Hey, hey! What's with you guys? Scraplet! Scraplet! What's a scraplet? The most dangerous vermin ever to crawl upon the face of Cybertron. This? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're giant robots! Scrappy here is teeny. You have no idea the damage that teeny thing could do! Uh, he wouldn't hurt anything. there, killer. <sighs> Whoa. I did not see that coming. I'm sorry, Bumblebee. Is he gonna be okay? Only a mesh wound. He'll live. Now do you believe me? All Scraplets do is dismantle machinery and eat anything metal. Especially living metal. Well, bug squash, game over. Right? No. When it comes to Scraplets, there's never just one. And I fear I know how they got in here. It's a trap. A Scraplet trap. Uh, an empty Scraplet trap. Most likely ejected into space eons ago, only to wind up in the Arctic where the temperature kept them in stasis. Until we brought the thaw. Now they're wide awake and ready to brunch. So, how many are we talking about? Thousands. And the power malfunctions and ground bridge damage are sure signs that their infestation is well underway. RC, what's your status? My sensor's going off. Guess we should call for pickup before things get chilly. Optimus to base. Core temperature readings have reached the blue zone. Prepare to activate ground bridge. Ratchet to Optimus, do you read me? We have a situation. The Scraplets have gotten into the Conlink system. If we don't eradicate these creatures immediately, they will reduce the entire base to a scrap heap. I say we bug out of here and let him keep it! Evacuation is not an option. 
If we don't get the ground bridge back online stat, Optimus and RC will perish. The... will? Bulkhead, you never run! Miko, you haven't seen a swarm of these things devour a bot. I have. They pick you apart from the inside out. Going for the small, juicy bits first. Fuse by fuse, circuit by circuit, till there's nothing left. And I mean nothing. Not even your optics. You have to let us help. We're not made of metal. Yeah, the scrap that can't hurt us. Typically, I find your fleshiness to be your least engaging quality. But it would appear to provide an advantage under these extremes. Okay, good. So we pair off. One bot, one human. I'll watch your back while you repair the ground bridge. And we go on a bug hunt. <laughs> Optimus to base. Do you read? Are you sure a nice long drive wouldn't help? I hear Miami's beautiful this time of year. The nearest temperate climate is too distant, R.C. Attempting to reach it would expend too much energy and hasten the freezing process. Until Ratchet sends for us, and he will, our best option would be to seek shelter and insulate ourselves. I get to be your bodyguard for once. How cool is that? Wrath, I'm the first one here, right? <laughs> Did you just scream like a little girl? No. Maybe. Can we talk about this later? Take her easy, Bulkhead. Just stay focused. Everything's gonna be... Wish I hadn't seen that. Bulkhead, you're fine! It's just a bunch of cables! Oh, right. Cables. <laughs> Don't these things ever stop eating? How's it going over there? I've repaired the damaged conductors and rerouted the central conduits, but the ground bridge still won't receive power. RC, 
see, wake up. <sighs> Just resting my eyes. The longer we remain alert, the longer we remain alive. What do you suggest? Wait. How about a game? Let's play who screwed things up back at base. Our predicament could be the result of a simple malfunction. Caused by Bulkhead. Let's see. No comm link. Maybe even no power. The big lug probably tripped over a cord. He's never been too graceful. Remember when we first arrived on Earth and Bulkhead walked into those power lines? <laughs> Who knew he could dance like that? Bulkhead may be too large for this world, but his inner strength is without bounds. One should not be measured by size alone. We get them all? Hardly. These were just scouts. So the rest of them know we're in here? And if we allow ourselves to become their next meal, Optimus and Arcee will never make it home. We must get the ground bridge operational. Then we can use it to send the Scrapplets anywhere on Earth. Why not back to the Arctic? We already know they don't do cold. Sweet! One-stop shopping! Given the body mass of the Scrapplets, sub-zero temperature should freeze them on contact. So think, Roger, think! If the ground bridge is still down, there must be a breach in the Energon fuel line. Uh, if we weren't breaching, one of us could get back over there and fix it. Where do we find it? And how do we fix it? Remember, we're okay. We're not metal. There's the breach. Come on. We have to work fast. So if we get... When we get the ground bridge open, do we send the creepy crawlies out? Or bring our bots in? Optimus and RC will be fresh meat. If we bring them in first, the Scraplets will have no reason to leave. We'll need bait. Where are we gonna get bait? The Scraplets already helped themselves to everything in here! They're getting ready to feed! First part? After battling cons all these years, getting smacked down, shot at, blown up, this is how our lights go out? R.C., this may not be the finish that we had planned, but if this is indeed the end, if we are to become one with the Allspark, It's been an honor serving with you, Optimus Prime. Ratchet! All systems go! Fire it up! Ground Bridge.
you in, but the place is a mess. Report biocircuitry status. Levels are rising. Excellent. Raphael, keep a close watch on Bumblebee's electro pulse monitor. Miko, check Bulkhead's interface patch. It's steady. Looking good. Perhaps you should get some rest yourself, old friend. You saved quite a few lives today. It wasn't all my doing. We're just fortunate that this infestation happened on a Saturday. Our human friends may be small, but they are strong. Ah! Don't scrap it! Spider! Is it on me? <laughs> Did she just scream like a little girl? All right, chores are done. Now can we do some dune bashing? I don't know, Miko. Last time I spent a week picking sand out of my articulators. Uh, but there's a monster truck rally in town. Optimus, I'm receiving a signal on a restricted band. It appears to be coming from a starship inside this solar system. It's an Autobot identification beacon. So there are other bots out there? The masses scattered to the galaxies when Cybertron finally went dark. But... Cons have been known to bait traps with false beacons. Unknown vessel, this is Autobot Outpost Omega-1. Identify yourself. I've had warmer welcomes from Decepticon combat brigades. Wheeljack? You old con crusher! What are you doing all the way out here? Bulkhead? That's you? What's with all the security? The rock we're on is crawling with cons. How soon can you get here and even the odds? Sometime tomorrow, if I put metal to the pedal. Another bot's coming here. How cool is that? Wheeljack? I know of him by reputation only. Can you verify his voice print? He is 1,000% the real deal, Optimus. We will send landing coordinates, Wheeljack. Safe journey. See you soon, buddy. I'll make sure you get a proper welcome. So who's the boyfriend? <laughs> Me and Jackie go way back. We were part of the same war unit, the Wreckers. Which means the cons are gonna wish he never found us. Real Jack? What are you doing all the way out here? Bulkhead? That's you? What's with all the security? The rock we're on is crawling with cons. A war hero. We haven't much time. Makeshift. I do know how to prepare a proper welcome. Approaching the landing zone. You think he's here to visit? Maybe he'll stay. Hmm, have to find his own human though. Brown bridge cycling up. <laughs> Blasted scraplets. Equipment hasn't been the same since the infestation. So Wheeljack's gonna land halfway around the world, and then you'll bridge him here? We can't risk revealing the location of our base just in case the Decepticons are tracking Wheeljack's ship. Dude, I've never seen you so stoked. 
Oh, you're gonna love Wheeljack. We were like brothers. And tonight, we are gonna party! Sweet! Bogies. Closing fast from Wheeljack's position. Con scum! Trying to ruin my day. You're gonna have to try harder. <laughs> you cons have gone soft on me. Swiftly, before the Autobots arrive. Open the bridge, Ratchet. We're missing all the action. I'll prepare sick bay. <laughs> Who for? The cons? This is Wheeljack we're talking about. I thought of that. Ever think I might need a hand here? What, and spoil the show? You missed one. If this is all you got, the planet's in bigger trouble than I thought. <laughs> What's the finish, you old wrecking ball? Oh. Oh. Jackie, come here. Meet my other best buddy, Miko. She can wreck with the best of us. Hiya. You keeping Bulkhead out of trouble? I try, but trouble finds us anyway. We're gonna get along just fine. Optimus Prime. It's a privilege. Likewise, soldier. What have you to report from your long journey? Been bouncing from rock to rock, searching for signs of friend or foe. Now, I find both. We are few, but strong. We have suffered losses, but we have grown. And we would relish welcoming a new member into our fold. I would be honored. Then let's get this party started! Oh, joy. The moment Makeshift passed through their ground bridge, we lost his tracking signal. The Autobot base is no doubt heavily shielded to prevent us from locating it. Uh, no matter. I have complete faith in Makeshift. Our inside man is already inside. Tell Megatron he's fragged in the head if he thinks Bulkhead won't snip out an imposter. <sighs> Haven't you heard? I lead the Decepticons now. You? Ha! <laughs> Makeshift is very good at keeping up appearances. You need only fool your friends long enough to open their ground bridge from within, so that I may finally learn the location of the Autobot base, and send in my strike team to stain its floor with the spilled energon of Optimus Prime. <laughs> Come on, Jackie. Show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> nice lob. 
So, what's that about? It's called lobbing. A favorite pastime on Cybertron, especially among the warrior class. Come on, Ralph! Show us some moves. Oh, all right. <laughs> of course, the robot. Where's Optimus? Went for a drive. Primes don't party. Coming at you! Yeah. You know, I, I am attempting to perform sensitive calibrations here. Sorry, Doc. Guess we're a little charged up. You built this bridge from scratch, huh? I did? That's quite a feat of engineering. Yes, it is. Something wrong with it? I didn't care for the way it sounded this last jump. I put it in shutdown. What if you need to use it? Oh, I can't disrupt the defrag process without causing irreparable damage. So, uh, how long will the defrag take? A few hours, if we're lucky. Maybe longer. Huh. Makeshift still hasn't opened their ground bridge, or otherwise transmitted their coordinates. His disguise may be flawless, but he won't fool the Autobots forever. So there we were. No communications. Low on Energon, surrounded by cons. So what does Wheeljack do? <laughs> Tell him, Jackie. Well, what I do best. <laughs> he chucks his only grenade smack into the primary heat exchanger. Yeah, seemed like a good idea at the time. The joint went supernova. Awesome. Yeah, I'm still picking shrapnel out of my backside. I'm not surprised, given the size of your backside. There it is. Jackie's signature. One grenade, one shot. Hey, you all right? What? You don't seem like yourself. Well, what do you mean? Well, no, you seem quiet. Ah, uh, I've been stuck in a can too long. I should go topside before I get stir-crazy. I have patrol in the morning. You can come with. Well, let's go now. And break up the party? Come on, the gang's loving you! You gotta tell him about the Battle of Dark Mount Pass. You tell him. You're better at it. How about if Miko here shows me the rest of your base? Uh, yeah, sure, Jackie. Hey, go ahead. Tour starts now. Do you play any instruments? Can you fly? Have you thrashed more Decepticons than Bulkhead? You all right? Yeah, just... Out of sorts, I guess. Don't tell me you're jealous. That Miko's making a new friend? Come on. Something. Something's just not right about Wheeljack. Bulkhead, really? He's traveled galaxies. You haven't seen him for centuries. He could just be rocket lagged or. Well, bots do change, you know? Not Jackie. You're not going anywhere, Autobot. So, that's pretty much it. Energon stockpile, power generator, armory, everything you need to blow the joint sky high. Where is this bunker located, exactly? If I told you, I'd have to rip out your spark chamber. Kidding! Just outside Jasper, Nevada. Though I don't expect that to mean much to you. Can't say it does. So, uh, any way out of here besides bridging? Why? You're not planning to leave already, are you? Come on, I'll show you. Oh. 
almost there. Look, I know Wheeljack better than anyone. Hey, what are you guys talking about? I was just telling the guys all about you and me at the Battle of Dark Mount Pass. That's a heck of a story. Yep, tell it. Talk, talk, talk. How about after we go off-roading? Miko, stay out of this. Bulkhead, easy. I'm not sure I... Tell it! Fine. You want to live in the past, Bulkhead? The Wreckers were trapped between a Decepticon patrol and the smelting pit. The cons were vicious, bearing down on us with everything they had. Me and Bulkhead engaged the enemy, left them for scrap. Then I made us a way out, using their backsides as stepping stones to cross the molten metal. Isn't that how it happened? Yeah, that's exactly how it happened. Except for one little thing. I wasn't there. I'd already left the Wreckers to join up with Optimus. But you wouldn't know that if all you did was access Wheeljack's public service record. Bulkhead, what does that have to do with- <laughs> Miko! Stay back, or I'll squeeze her into pulp. <laughs> Decepticon coward, let the girl go and face me! Don't fret. Plenty of fighting to come. Is there a real Wheeljack? Oh, indeed. And I expect Lord Starscream is making sport of him. Certain we are at the coordinates you supplied to makeshift. Then what is taking him? Maybe they gave your boy such a hero's welcome. He got the warm and fuzzies and decided to switch sides. Do you not see that you are vastly outnumbered? I see fellas who might vastly enjoy watching me pound some dents into you. <laughs> Destroy him! Shut that hole before the stink comes through. Enter the ground bridge now! Ah! Ugly's mine. Jackie. You, hit the switch. It's time to take out the trash. All yours, buddy. I hear 
fighting for now! Nice lob. Please tell me that you at least learn the location of their base. Indeed, Lord Starscream. It is in a hidden bunker just outside of... Whoa! Back! 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 Oh, no. Make shift, you fool! Nightmare. Now that you're part of Team Prime, we need to pick out a vehicle mode for you. I have some ideas. Uh, about that, Bulk. Now that my ship's repaired, I'm itching to know what else I might find out there. Wait, you're leaving? Why? Well, because some bots never change. <laughs> Wheeljack? Know that you always have a haven here. Jackie never stays, but he always comes back. There's room for two, Bulk. Even with a backside like yours. Who knows who we might find out there? Some of the old crew? It sounds like fun, Jackie, but my ties are here now. With them. With her. If anything happens to my favorite wrecker, I'm coming after you. I'll take good care of him. Now, say cheese. Special Agent Fowler, to what do we owe? What else? Cons. I chased them off with some hard ordnance, but not before they blew me out of the sky. <laughs> Again? They tried a smash and grab for the dingus. The what's it? Dynamic Nuclear Generation System, AKA dingus. It's a prototype energy source I'm porting to the coast for testing. <sighs> That's absurd. Why would Starscream bother with such primitive technology? I'm guessing to make a big, fat, primitive weapon of mass destruction. If this baby were to melt down, it would irradiate this state and the four next door. Uh, did Agent Fowler say what state he was currently in? I'm a sitting duck here, Prime. I need you to spin up your bridge and send the dingus to his destination before the cons come back for it. I'm afraid that sending such a volatile device through a ground bridge is out of the question. If there were to be an accident during its transmission, the radiation of which you speak could propagate through the ground bridge vortex and harm all 50 states and beyond. You got any better ideas? Ah, no need, Agent Fowler. I will handle the driving. It's gonna be a long trip. Autobots, roll out!
are locked onto your coordinates, Optimus. Barring any complications, you should reach the drop-off point by sundown. Is that really necessary? Ah, uh, don't tell me you're one of them textbook drivers. <laughs> They're transporting in an unarmed civilian truck. Send in the ground units. You know, you're saving my bacon here, Prime. I am proud to be of service. Of course, not like I'd need your help if you and the cons had stuck to tearing up your own corner of the galaxy. Are you suggesting that no evil existed on your world before we arrived? Uh, well, it was a different evil. How about some radio? You seem like a Nashville sound kind of guy. That's the one, the con who shot me down. Who is it? Wingnut, Dingbat, Sky Guy? Watch your rear views. Feeling a little constricted without the use of my fist here, boss. Remain in vehicular mode unless absolutely necessary. A whole team of cons. What? I'm not picking up anything. They must be utilizing a cloaking technology. Decepticons. They are human. Human? Oh, please. Taking on our bots? They're roadkill. Gentlemen, stop their engines. Who are these guys? Autobots, maintain your cover. And apply minimal force. Disarmament only. civilian drivers. Could use some air. yourself. I am Silas. But of greater consequence to you, we are Mech. Fair warning. We will be helping ourselves to your device, even if it means inflicting casualties. Is that so? Tell me, Sai. What's the market price for a dingus these days? 
What makes you think we intend to sell it, Agent Fowler? Between the New World Order and the newest, the victor will be the sidearm with the most innovative technology. has all the most radical tech? Definitely not civilian drivers. Later, Psy. Agent Fowler, do not take your Silas lightly. Megatron preached the very same ideology before plunging Cybertron into the Great War that destroyed our world. Optimus, prepare to initiate Phase 2. Five miles ahead to the south, you will reach the rendezvous point. Five miles ahead to the south, you will reach the rendezvous point. So, the Autobots are outside the confines of their base, and sound otherwise engaged. Which means they will never see us coming. Find them and strap them. Yes, Lord Starscream. <laughs> There's the destination point. Autobots, keep a tight formation. You have company. Military fired on one of their own? Sir, the Dingus! <sighs> Sir, I'm not reading any radiation. The dingus didn't melt down. No, it did not. Agent Fowler, I'm afraid that if you and we are to survive, it has become absolutely necessary to drop our cover. are true. Living technology stands before us, though perhaps not for very long. Remain here. Will do. After a long road trip, it feels good to get out of the car, stretch my legs, and kick some tailpipe. <laughs> Yeah. 
Sir, if the dingus wasn't in the truck. Yes, that. Special Agent Fowler, you lead a charmed life walking among titans. Come on down. I'll introduce you. In good time. But at the moment, I'm too busy wondering how the dingus might have vanished into thin air without a trace. the dingus. They have to get on that train. What if we get on board first? You know, run some human-on-human -human interference? Absolutely not. Yeah, that would be suicide. Hello, the United States of Meltdown? Lives are at stake? Yes, yours! You want me to not only bridge you into a confined space, but one traveling at 90 miles per hour? I can't even count the number of ways that can go wrong. Mass displacement trauma, twisted limbs, metal burn. Well, maybe not the last one. Regardless, it is nearly impossible to fix ground bridge coordinates on something moving at that speed. Would it help if we had access to the train's coordinates? Well... Immobilize them. We're in. I read you, Jack. The cell phone comm link patch works. Rat, mech's landing on top of the train. In about 20 seconds, you're gonna come to a fork. Brace yourself. I've been saying all along about Earth technology. So what that buy us? Ten seconds? Raph is losing his touch. <laughs>
want a slice of this? Well, do ya? What she said. Sir. with the spoils. Wretched, the mech blew the train tracks. You need to bridge us out of here. The soldiers, too. We've lost access to the train data. I can't bridge you back without your coordinates. Optimus, Jack and Miko were on that train and Mech has blown the tracks. I'm on my way. Maximum overdrive. Maybe we should jump? At 90 miles an hour? It's the impact or the meltdown. Take your pick. What were we thinking volunteering for this? Next time you need to do a better job of talking us out of these situations. Next time. We can buy ourselves another few seconds if we're in the back of the train, right? Miko, at least we're in this together. Raph, this is important. Make sure Bulkhead gets my guitar. Don't read the wheel just yet. Where's Optimus? He had a train to catch. Visitor, but Mech still has home field advantage, and we will find a way to level that playing field. Even if we have to open you up to see what makes you tick. Optimus, are you and the children intact? Intact, Ratchet. Crisis averted. But the world in which we live is a different one than previously imagined. One which has spawned its own Decepticons in human skin. Detention. Ugh. Nico, I thought you had a history report to do. Did detention end early? Did for me. Uh-oh, here comes teacher, and she doesn't look happy. Step on it, bulkhead! Aw, oh, Miko! <laughs>
Nico, I'm supposed to be your guardian, not your getaway car. You can't just cut detention. What if your parents found out? They live in Tokyo, remember? And don't even worry about my host parents. I think I scare them. Miko, listen. If you fail high school, you can't go to, um, Yuna, Ida, Kisa, College. Wait, 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 what's that word again? Uh, college? Ugh, you sound like my parents. Aren't they Japanese? They may speak a different language, but you say the same things. Because we want the best for you. And that means making sure you go to school, not jail. Uh-oh. What'd you do? Look, Miko. Before I became a warrior, I was a laborer. Construction. I can build stuff, I can break stuff. And that's it. I love breaking stuff. I want to be just like you, Bulk. Oh. Where would you want to be like me when you can be a, a medic like Ratchet? I'm detecting a fresh Energon pulse from the nation called Greece. An ancient city, quite historic, I believe. Ancient Greece, huh? Oh, field trip. It's about time, knockout. I do not enjoy being kept waiting. Ah, it was a long drive, Starscream. I'm still picking bugs out of my grill. Yes, right, you're one of those. Come again. Never understood why any self-respecting Decepticon would choose automobile as his vehicle mode when he could have flight. I like the way I look in steel-belted radials. I take it Lord Megatron requires a laboratory assist? You might say that. <laughs> I'm scouting Energon. You're doing research for your history report. You punked me, Bulk? Not cool. Hmm. Signal strong. An excavation site. Whoa. I know construction. According to my scanner, humans hit Energon veins, and they don't even know it. That's Cybertronian. Sadly, our inevitably former Lord Megatron has been like this for some time. But the crew took a vote, and it was decided that an expert might put him on the road to recovery. I've done plenty of bodywork, Starscream, but I'm better at breaking them than fixing them. It would help if I had my assistant. I summoned both of you. Where is he? We were hopped on a fresh Energon trail when you called. Breakdown will show when he's through scouting it. Why would ancient Greeks paint an Energon harvester? You know what that round thing is? You're smarter than you let on. But even dumber than he looks. Breakdown. <laughs> Miss me? Like rust in my undercarriage. You know this lunkhead? You have a history. And you have a pet. <laughs> Does it play catch? <laughs> catch! Nico, stay down! Hope the pretty picture wasn't too important. <sighs> Told you I'm good at breaking things. I always have your back, Bulk. Got us a picture of the picture. <laughs> it is indeed an Energon Harvester. A powerful tool created by the ancients. 
to remove raw energon from any source. Greek gods knew Autobots? No. The ancients often used the art of a given era to conceal messages. This fresco was likely a signpost indicating a harvester's location hidden somewhere on this planet. Uh, Optimus, if the harvester removes energon from anything, and you all have energon pumping inside you... In Decepticon hands, the harvester would be a devastating weapon. See? You were a genius to total that painting. Nico's not wrong. How can the cons find the harvester without the fresco? With high-speed internet? If you do an image search for Greek god and golden orb, this pops up. It's in a museum. That the real deal? Contact Agent Fowler. You've reached Special Agent William Fowler. I'm currently on an intensive training retreat and unavailable until Tuesday. I hate talking to machines. Without Agent Fowler's direct aid, we will have to confiscate the Harvester on our own. Whoa, 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 confiscate? As in steal museum property? That sounds... illegal. I do not wish to break human law, but once the Decepticons learn of the Harvester's location, they will not hesitate to obtain it by any means necessary. We must act covertly. Yeah. Okay, no, no offense, Optimus, but covertly and giant robots don't really go together. Museums are public, and they have guards and security cameras. No problem! We are small enough to sneak in, and we are not a government secret. Miko, I'm not sure that's wise. But it may be our best option, Bulkhead. The longer we debate, the more time we give the Decepticons. Mm-hmm. That's definitely it. And I'm afraid Megatron's well-being will have to wait. It's harvest time. Autobots, confirm position. Westward Ho. South side covered. Maintain your guard. Jack, Miko, Raphael, I will have a clear view of you. Once you secure the harvester, I will contact Ratchet to bridge you back to base. Now, since you'll bypass all points of normal entry, you won't need to worry about setting off the alarm. But take care to avoid any security guards. Four gauge, you're real heavy duty, just like my friend here.
make our exit, boys. Better come with me, miss. Not good. RC! It's sound wave. Detained, but she is safe from harm. Look, kid, if this is some kind of prank, you need to know that the authorities are on their way. It'd go a whole lot easier for you if you just told me what happened to the sphere. I was researching my history report. I just lost track of time and got locked in here after closing. So what's your history report about? I'd love to know. Uh... In all likelihood, Starscream will use the Harvester to gather as much Energon as quickly as he can from the planet's otherwise unminable Energon deposits. Approach with extreme caution. Starscream will not hesitate to turn the Harvester on any one of us. Bulkhead, it is best that you remain here. So I can bust Miko out of the museum? So you can help Ratchet. You may be Miko's guardian, but she requires human assistance. Agent Fowler remains her best option. You've reached Special Agent William Fowler. I'm currently on an intensive training retreat and unavailable until Tuesday. Still no answer. Fowler's lounging around some poolside cabana. Well, kid, I needed that! We can free Miko if we can just return that harvester to the museum. So the Decepticons can steal it all over again? I am so dumb! So how are we going to help Miko? By returning this replica to the museum. The construction of which would be going a whole lot faster if Bulkhead hadn't just mangled my frame welder. We're already trespassers and thieves. Why not add forgery to the list? I wish I'd never taken Miko to the... The painting of the Harvester isn't the only thing we found at those ruins. I'm sorry? Starscream's not dumb. No matter what kind of tool he has, he's gonna take the easy route. Why move mountains now, when we have a mother load of Energon right here for the taking? Courtesy of this gift from ancient Autobots. Ah, uh, actually, Commander Starscream, it was a gift from Breakdown and myself. in such a tiny vessel. Those ancient Autobots never missed a trick, Lord Starscream.
matters of seconds. There's the whole principle of Deus Ex Machina. Uh, the god from the machine. It's that part in Greek storytelling oh. where some character shows up out of the blue to make everything right. That's so, young lady. Well, I'm sure the police will want to hear all about your history report. Special Agent William Fowler. The stolen property has been located and restored to museum premises. The girl comes with me. You dropped your cell phone. Found it on the floor, right next to your history report. <gasps> Off you go. Good timing, Bulk. I was running out of history factoids. Stuff I didn't even know I knew. Looks like you're smarter than you let on. Under pressure. Me too. Can't wait to finish my history report. I'm gonna write all about how the Autobots interacted with ancient civilizations. Uh, I'm not so sure that'll get you into college, Miko. 